for College Station, WSU is very fortunate. Uh, our signal, which uh, comes out at 2400 watts, reaches the five boroughs of New York and a big chunk of northern and central New Jersey. Equally important, we have a format uh, that a real core constituency wants to hear. Uh, and that, of course, is our loud rock, mostly metal format. <laughs> that draws uh, well over 100,000 listeners each week. For those people who appreciate uh, a blend of metal and punk and hardcore and post-hardcore music as well as some of the uh, heavier alternative music that's out there, WSOU is very much a station uh, for them and that's why we're popular. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name's Omar, and welcome to WSOU, Seton Hall's Pirate Radio. The first thing I want to show you guys, that's our call letters, that's our station. This has been a gift to us and we are very excited uh, to invite you guys into the station. When you first walk in, you'll notice uh, that we have a kitchen. WSOU operates 24 hours a day, uh, so one of the gifts uh, from the alumni was actually a kitchen. Now we're going to head down over here. Uh, normally, you would see a big white banner over here with all the artists that we've had. We actually had to take it down because in the past few years, this whole wall was filled with signatures from all the bands that we've interviewed. Of course, also along this line itself, we have um, a lot more awards that WSOU has won. We also have the uh, WSOU Hall of Fame. So the first thing coming up uh, on your right-hand side is the sports talk room. A lot of the shows that we, uh, a lot of the talk shows that we have are actually pre-recorded. They don't happen live in studio, so we pre-record them in here. Now, this is uh, what we call digital production. Uh, a lot of our production work uh, happens here. Uh, the Mac computer over there actually controls uh, everything that goes on in Sports Talk, so that's what we use to record a lot of things. We also have news broadcasters. Here's Erin right here. Uh, she's our news broadcaster at the moment. Uh, WSOU Broadcast News. 20, uh, every 20 minutes uh, during the day, during the week. So we actually do what a lot of professional radio stations do with their news broadcasts. All right, so this is our DJ booth. Uh, we actually have an alum DJing today. Our entire catalog is uh, digitalized uh, on our computer, so it's actually playing at the moment right now off there. And it actually works like a big, like sort of like iTunes playlist. You literally drag and drop uh, what you want to hear and it will broadcast. Um, we also have our CD rack, just in case the system ever goes down or if there's a song that's not in our catalog. We have hundreds of CDs over here. Um, we try and uh, update it as much as possible. Uh, we also have like a lot of our core artists and everything uh, on this rack. Now, this is the manager's office. Uh, WSOU uh, has a philosophy that everything should be student run. Um, there are only two paid adults on staff. That's kind of it for the station. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a uh, small little tour. Look forward to uh, seeing you guys around some other time. My title is General Manager, but I think the best way to describe what I do at WSOU is I'm the adult on duty. But I'm also responsible for making sure that students have uh, a very meaningful experiential learning opportunity here at the station. And that's why WSOU is student run. It's really the students who are handling the day to day operations at the station. And that's the way they learn the best. Programming at WSU is supported it. by Live Nation. There are a number of different opportunities here for Seton Hall students. And that, I think, is one of the strengths of WSOU. Everybody who wants to join the station starts at the same place. And the role of the system producer here is to support the DJ who's on the air. So you're answering phones to take listener requests, you're managing the contests, you're inputting uh, the playlist into the Spinatron system here so listeners can go and, and see what music has been played. You let people in when they buzz in and want to get through the door into the station. From there, you have the opportunity to blossom into anything you want to be. You can be a newscaster, you can be a sportscaster, you can
can go on the road to becoming a DJ. You can work uh, in promotions. You can work in the music department. You can get all um, caught up in audio engineering or remote uh, field recording. And we could spend literally half a day here going about the specifics of each of those jobs. But everyone starts right with the same baseline, having the same experience. And I think that helps create a, um, a camaraderie here. WSOU, 25 years, man, that's awesome. Certainly when it happened back in 1986, uh, I don't think anyone expected. Um, that SOU would still be playing uh, metal uh, 25 years later. Metal was a music that was certainly coming into its own uh, throughout the 80s. And because WSOU has a long tradition of being student run, there was a group of students in the mid 80s here who talked about what was happening here at SOU and what they might do differently and how they might find uh, a different niche for themselves within the marketplace. And they came upon uh, pursuing a, a format that was primarily metal. And that's what they did. You know, the rest, as they say, is, is history. We played many and many of SOU I know uh, you're hosted about. events. Yeah, the, the one with Killswitch, right? They were always, it was always a pleasure to, uh, you know, when we hear, like, oh, it's a WSOU show for this and this. It's like, all right, cool, it's going to be awesome because, you know, that, their reach is so far that, you know, they get some people out there and it's always, always a Always a good show. I've really been listening to SOU since I was 10 or 11, I'm 35. Um, so a lot of my life has been spent with that, either on in the background or, you know, trying to listen, find new bands, that whole deal. But I think more than anything, the best thing that I can say about the past 25 years listening to SOU is being exposed to new and different things. It was really cool to be at a huge radio station that had so much power. It seemed like once our music was start like started to get played, uh, our shows in the New, Jer New Jersey, New York area, and stuff like that started getting really big. So uh, it was cool to have that type of exposure without having to, you know, do so much. You know. <laughs> I'm Trevor from the Band on Earth. I want to thank SOU for all the support over the years. Uh, we played one of your uh, party shows here with Shadows Fall years ago. Is it 60 years? Yes. Yeah, 60 year anniversary of the station now we're playing the 25 years of metal which is awesome thanks for having us as always and uh can't wait to come back we broadcast men's and women's basketball all the games that we can uh home and on the road uh, all the students do all the producing of the the sound and call all the the games we also run two sports talk programs every Sunday night. From the Stands talks about pro sports, and uh, Pirate Primetime talks about Seton Hall Athletics. They're both an hour each. Callers can call in, and our uh, students host the, the shows and talk to the callers, do interviews as well. Sports department is a great way for students to get involved with sports broadcasting at a young age and really get involved in every aspect of it, whereas in professional ranks you may only be involved in one aspect, here you get to do many aspects. College radio has a unique place, more than ever, of identifying new and upcoming bands. And not just the bands we play here at SOU, but stations all across the country play a role in helping indie bands, folk artists, as artists um, be identified and nurtured until they can have some mainstream success. We are the farm team. We are the place where people go to uh, develop the skills necessary to succeed, not only radio, but the new media uh, marketplace. When I was a college kid, uh, I could go to a local radio station, and I did, and you could knock on the door, and you could get a job doing something there. You can't do that anymore because the stations have been consolidated, their voice tracked, you know, one company owns, you know, 300 stations, another owns a thousand, and those mom and pop stations where 
radio talent used to get developed simply no longer exists. And so college radio now fills that role. Best thing a student can get out of WSOU is confidence. Every vocation requires the ability to communicate with other people, to speak concisely, to explain yourself, to get ideas across. That's what we teach you. But we also teach faith in yourself and your ability to do things. People come here and they can not imagine that they could ever speak to thousands of people on the radio and sound good at it. But eventually that's what they do. That is what year after year and quite frankly decade after decade we hear from our alums. WSOU taught me the ability to be myself, to stand for myself and to be successful whether you have went on to a career in music, a career in broadcasting, or whether you're selling insurance.